Pimmel. Yo. Two things I want to talk about. Two things I want to cover. Um, first thing I want to cover is uh uh cool. All right, rip and dip. The first thing I want to cover is cool. Right, um, cool and the norm. And uh, uh, one of the one of the one of the problems that we're dealing with in our world, in our community, especially the Black community and the Hispanic community, and now the Asian community and a few more communities, one of the problems that we're dealing with is cool, right? And everybody trying to be cool, everybody want to be cool. Everybody, everybody are turning in their creativity or turning into their differentness or transforming all of their, like, their skill sets in to be cool. And, you know, in our communities, we are transferring our talents or giving up all of our talents for something called cool. And I feel like that's where everything is going wrong, right? I feel like we got we got a lot of people in our world. What? Now I know you can do that. I feel like we got a lot of people in our world afraid afraid to be themselves or afraid to to express their talents or afraid to really show the world their talents based on this whole thing called cool. Right? Yo, don't call me big bro, but I ain't your big brother. I want people, yo, what's up, big bro? My nigga, I ain't your big bro. Don't do that. Nigga, I don't even know you. We got to stop doing that type of thing. First of all, you feel me? Like, as a man in this world, you ain't never supposed to call nobody else big. You supposed to say, yo, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? All right, that's it, nigga. I ain't... What's good, big bro? What you... Why Why would you call me your big bro? Like, well, why? Because I'm in, like, a, a upper... A higher upper position or something? Nigga, I ain't... The fuck? What's good, big bro? Nigga, I ain't... Nigga, we the same age. Nigga, fuck you talk about, big bro? You got niggas 48. Your daylight, what's good, big bro? Nigga, you 40. What you talk about, big bro? I'm fucking with you, my G. But no, going back to it, I just wanted to. I just felt like clowning a little bit. I fuck with you though, G. But no, yo, I got a lot of. I got a lot of youngsters. Feel me? It's a lot of youngsters though. I got a lot of. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of youngsters. Like, I got. I'm talking about a lot. Right, I got a lot of kids following me. I ain't know I had that many kids following me, but I got a lot of youngsters following me, like, I'm talking about 15, 16, 17. And, you know, they lost, but they looking for answers. And I learned a valuable thing, right? Being lost is a good thing. A lot of y'all youngsters, y'all feel like y'all lost. Being lost is a good thing. I'd rather you be lost than be, like, normal. Hey, homie, what's your... Hey, I, I, what? Come here, Togo P. Hey. Old P. Hey. Hey. Come here. Get your teddy bear. What's up, bear? Right. I'd rather y'all be lost than y'all be normal. Right? So, like I said, I got a lot of... 
I got a lot of I got a lot of youngsters that's that's looking for answers. A lot of youngsters in this world that just feel like the world don't understand. For example, um, now this nigga be making all type of token pee noises, but look, um. The other day, one of the little homies hit me up and was like, yo, Dave, man, I don't really know what to do, man. Like, all my friends, my friends, like, they just don't get it. And sometimes I got to hold myself in because I'm around my friends and I don't want to be looked at as weird, but I do want friends. But and I'm just like, look, bro, in all actuality, if I could go back in time and change the people that I was around, I would do it. I'll tell you like this. If, if, if you got friends that won't accept you for your, if you got to hide who you are in front of your friends, then they ain't your friends. If you got to tuck in your inner you in front of your friends and be somebody that you're not, then them not your friends. So he goes, well, how do I meet people? Or how do I get new friends? I said, yo, you are what you put out. You are your own reflection. Shouts out to Nature Boy for that. He literally altered the word reflection. Every time I hear the word reflection, I think of Nature Boy. But you are your own reflection, right? So what you put in this world will be what you attract. Right? So he was like, so what am I supposed to do? I said, bro, look at your Instagram. You got pictures of you smoking. You got pictures of you drinking. You got pictures of you doing the little, you know, the depressed, the new depressed pose. You got pictures of you doing the new depressed pose. You got pictures of you gun. You got all these fake ass pictures of you looking cool. Look, bro. Change what you put out. Change the image. Change the signal. You change the signal. What you want? You change the signal you put out, then that's the type of people you're going to meet. So, what I need you to do is, yo, start going live from your Instagram, bro. All you got to do is start going live. You start going live from your Instagram. You start posting how you feel on your main Instagram wall. Post it on your Snap and post it on your main Instagram wall. Start posting how you feel. Start posting your true feelings. If you start posting your true feelings... The people that you want around you are going to come to you. Right? This is from personal experience. I used to be one of those people like, man, nobody get it. Right? I used to be one of those people like, yo, nobody get it, man. I feel so alone in this world. And by me feeling so alone in this world, I'm just not going to say nothing. And I noticed that. A lot of us do that. A lot of us be like, yo, we ain't going to say nothing. We going to hide how we feel. You know, we just going to tuck it in. And No. It's easy to build your world. It's easy to build your world of people. It's easy to create your world of people. All you got to do is start talking about it, dog. And you can't be afraid to lose people. You got to lose people, dog. It's like you got to be able to lose all the fucking leftover skin or the dead scabs. You got to be able to lose them to fucking gain new skin. So... Sometimes you it's about what you put out in the world, right? You got to start putting it out. Right? You got to start putting it out. You start putting it out. Like now, I'm telling y'all this. Look, some of y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas got fake Instagram pages. Y'all got all type of shit. Yes, I'm making it right now. Some of y'all got fake Instagram pages. Some of y'all, like, y'all really hate y'all selves. Y'all, there's a lot of fucking... All this shit is worldly type of stuff, bro. Look. Whatever you put out is what you're going to receive. However you put it out is how you're going to receive it. So, I started to tell myself, man, a lot of my homies don't get it, right? For the longest, because, like, I hid my belief system for the longest, right? I grew up in Watts, bro. I grew up in Watts where people game bang and go to church. I grew up in Wise, California, where people kill people every day and then go to church praying. This is the type of world I, I grew up in. Right? 
where people spend all their money on clothing, people go kill other people, and people go to church. This is the world, world I grew up in. Watts is not like Chicago. Chicago is child's play compared to Watts. Don't ever put Watts and Chicago in the same boat. It's child's play. Chicago make the news. Watts don't make the news. When you die, you die. That's it. Ain't You ain't getting no special announcement. You dead. The fuck? Nigga, we been doing this shit for way too long. That shit is child's play compared to what's happening in Watts, bro. Watts is like a science experiment. But anywho, so imagine being a nigga who get it. Imagine being a nigga who get it growing up in that, dog. I had to really, really tuck. I had to really tuck my belief system, bro. I had to really, really tuck my belief system, right? I had to tuck, like, for the... I'm talking about since I was a kid, I had to tuck my belief system. Right? I had to tuck my belief system since I was a kid. So imagine that, right? You want to tuck your belief system. So boom, for the long run, it's like, why, how? And then I, as I got older, I started telling myself, if I want to be around more people that think like me, I got to start speaking it into existence. I told you that nigga Togepi. You got to speak this shit into existence, man. You got to start speaking. You, st- you got to start... You got to start speaking this shit into existence, bro. Whatever you want, however you want to change the world, dog, you got to speak that shit into existence. It's going to come right in front of your face. So I started telling myself, look, over this past year, over this past year, look at, you can get on YouTube right now and type in daylight. Get Just go on YouTube and type in daylight. Dog, I have so many videos online right now. I have so many videos online of me speaking my mind, dog, from the fucking rap is a trap to how to break the system to the things we've seen on the dark web. Dog, it's it's literally hundreds of thousands of daylight videos online right now. It's like hundreds of thousands of them. Like, dog, you know what that does? That's fishing for me. I, I put this energy out in the world so it could come back to me. Right? And now look, look what we doing, look what we got. You ain't gotta search for friends. All you gotta do is put the energy out there and that's gonna bring it right back to you. Yo Reg, man, bring your ass. When you put the energy out, bro, it's gonna bring it right back to you. So come here, Pixie. Yeah, I know. What time you done? I have to be there and move. I said, what time is it done? Oh. Wait, hold on, y'all. I got some shit I gotta do real quick. <laughs>